Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do uh, my famous video on AMD Radeon software. I think my last video was like three years ago when I had like uh, the RX 580. A lot of stuff changed. Now I'm the proud owner of uh, a 6900 XT from a Sapphire. It's the Nitro Plus. And uh, I'm really impressed, honestly, now with the driver frame from AMD. I was using a NVIDIA GPU before. I think I prefer uh, the Radeon software versus uh, GeForce. The only issue, I got a couple of crash, but it's not that bad, honestly. And I really like uh, the software. So we're going to start uh, how to optimize what, it, what are the best settings for your video card. to Make sure that you're getting the most of FPS and feature for your video card. First of all, driver and software, make sure that you have the latest version, really important, check for update. Also, you can go to setting. You have uh, this place that you can update your driver. Uh, prefer software version, you have recommended or plus optional. With optional, you will have some beta version from AMD and also you will have sometimes hotfix. So for example, just one game is crashing because of whatever uh, something happened with the software. They're not gonna wait until like, I don't know, three, three weeks or a month to uh, do an update. They just do a not fix and you will have it. If you don't like that and you just want the official one from AMD without any beta and stuff like that, just use recommend only. So let's go back to home. So we're gonna go to gaming and we're gonna go to global, global graphic. Uh, one thing that I want to mention, I really like to do all my setting on my global graphic, but also you can do individual, individually by game. So for example, Tetris effect, you want to have like custom stuff, you can do it if you want. But me, I prefer to have like something more consistent for all my games. So let's go to global graphics. So first of all, in global graphics, uh, the first thing that you will need to change uh, to choose it's gaming. So you click here. And the first pioneer that you will see activated is the anti-lag, as you can see. Anti-lag is really important. You use it. It will lower your input lag. So really important for eSport competitive game. So this one, use it. Ready and chill. I'm not using it because I have a, I have a pretty good cooler on my video card and also my uh, tower. I have a lot of fans and stuff like that. But if you have issue with heat, click this. And you can lock your FPS. For example, you have like a 144 Hz uh, screen. You can go like 144 or 143 and uh, lock your FPS to so not generate like more FPS that you don't need and generate more heat. And sometimes it can also cause stuttering if you don't have a good cooler in your GPU and even in your computer. So this is a way that you can limit your FPS if you have this issue. But if you have a decent temperature, go with disable. Ready and boost, I'm not using it. It's it's working on some compatible gain, but honestly, I'm not using this one. Image sharpening, I was kind of surprised. Before I was disable it, and now I'm using it. I did a couple of tests in some games, and honestly, it's really good. Like you, everything is more clear and it's it's sharp. So uh it's a question of preference. Honestly, 80, it's maybe a, a little bit too much. You can go with something like 40 or 50, but now you know I'm doing some testing. Uh, so definitely just test it and choose whatever you want and you prefer. And in uh, sync, don't use that. Please go with disable. Vertical sync, you don't want to. Uh, sorry, vertical refresh, you don't want to use it. Uh, target frame, you don't want to use it also. Anti-aliasing, please use application setting. You don't want to use it in your Radeon software. You want to uh, change that and depending on the game that you're using. Uh, anisotropic filtering, same thing. Please use disable. Um, surface format optimization, I saw a lot of people are saying like enable this, you don't need that. It really depends on your video card. If you have like a decent video card, like a, uh, for the past two or three years, you have more than six gig of VRAM and even AMD, I don't think they have like six gig VRAM card. It's more like eight gig and more, uh, go with disable with this one. It's more like if you have like an old GPU with three gig of VRAM, you can definitely enable this, but normally, uh, if you have like, a like a 570 XT, a 6000 series, even RX 580, you will not have issue with surface format optimization. So you can go with disable. Distillation mode, uh, I use AMD Optimize. Some people are saying if you disable it, you will get more FPS. Honestly, I did the test and sometimes I see like maybe one or two FPS difference. So for me, not a huge deal. Go with AMD Optimize. 
If you have like a really nice panel with 10 bit compatible, go with enable here. If you don't have it, just go with disable. Anyway, it will not work if you don't have that. After that, we're going to go to display. So display, you have your two screens and it will show you in red which one is one. Um, and uh, for an example, AMD FreeSync Premium. If you have a monitor that it's compatible with FreeSync, really important to use that. Uh, you will uh, eliminate tiering in your monitor. You will. Uh, it, it's, it's really amazing, honestly. You don't have to use VSync, and VSync it's like adding more input lag. So no VSync, and with FreeSync, everything is working fine. I really like it. If you think that you have your FreeSync uh, option feature on your monitor, but you don't, you can't activate it over here. Uh, really important to do it on your monitor also. So you need to activate FreeSync on your monitor, and you need it. To do it over here after that color depth again you can go with 10 if you have a um, compatible uh, monitor pixel format make sure that you're using 444 if uh, again your uh, monitor is compatible with this uh one one thing that you uh, need to look at it's the arrange display over here click here make sure that you're using the proper refresh rate so go to advanced display setting so for my main monitor right now, I'm using 170. So this is like what should I should use. And on my second, I use 144. I see a lot of people, they're buying an eye refresh rate screen and they're still using 60. So really important, you should have the proper refresh rate over here for your display. Another thing that it can be uh, nice to, to add, it's the custom color. So click enable. You have the saturation here. I know a lot of like competitive player like to uh, hire the saturation. So if you want to do that in your driver, you can definitely do it over here. So I'm just going to re-disable this again. After that video, uh, I'm just using the uh, default one. Record and stream. I have a dedicated video that I, I show like how to stream with the software, how to uh, record with the software. So just look at my other video. After that, performance. If you want to see your matrix when uh, you're using the Radeon software, you just have to click here and you will see your matrix like uh, GPU utilization, your number of FPS, uh, power consumption, like all those stuff are over here. So when you're doing some tests and stuff like that, really important to use that. You will have uh, very good like um, uh, data uh, on your screen. After that, Preference uh, on this one, two things that I want to mention. First of all, AMD user experience program had a lot of issue with it, so I just leave it. Uh, it had like some memory leak issue. It was taking like 800 uh, RAM on my computer, and it was taking 8% of my CPU. And I have like a 5900X CPU, so really important to leave this. And also, if you're getting some random stuttering and stuff. I recommend to just like disable the in-game overlay. It can uh, help you a lot. Finally, the uh, performance tab that you click on it. So you have again all the data on your uh, video card. So FPS and stuff like that. But you have the tuning part that I'm going to do a dedicated video on this. I just want to mention two things about the tuning. First of all, if you want to see if your smart access memory is enabled, this is where you will see it. Before you, you, you were like looking at it in the device manager on Windows to make sure that you have larger resources on your uh, GPU to make sure that it was working. But now you can see it on the driver. And another thing that it's really important, it's the minimum frequency. I had a couple of issues. I will give you two examples. First of all, on Showdown, uh, the Crytek engine doesn't seem to run well with AMD. And my boost clock were like at uh, 1,400, 1,500, and it should be like 2,400 and more. So I was like, what, what's happening? And I was losing a lot of FPS. It's something like my video card didn't know that that was playing a game. I'm not too sure if it's because the video card, it's too powerful. I'm playing in 2K also. I'm not playing in 1080p. Uh, so if you have this issue, honestly, just put your minimum frequency to something like uh, 100 megahertz or 150, 150 megahertz lower than your max frequency. So now uh, when I was playing the game, I always had like 2,400 and more in my uh, megahertz when I was playing the game and I was like getting 45% more FPS. I had the same issue with League of Legends. League of Legends, I'm pretty sure it's not because of the engine, it's because like the game is not taking like the full capacity of my uh, video card. 
uh, games like Warzone, Battlefield and stuff like that, I didn't have any issue. So I recommend to use a minimum frequency. Again, like I said, I will do a dedicated video to show you like what to do, how undervolting is working and how to get more performance for your card. But this is the two recommendations I can like give you right away to have more FPS. Make sure that your smart access memory is activated and make sure that your, vol uh, your uh, minimum frequency is set. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any question about uh, the Radian software, just like comment in the YouTube section. I will try to help you the best that I can. Uh, tell me also your video card because sometimes you can like uh, have less or more feature depending on what you're uh, using. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.